everybody. Welcome to Minute to Skim It. I hear really loud noises in the background because my children are watching The Hobbit and it's really, really loud. So don't worry, my house is not falling down. All right, uh, let's start with all our independence this week. Um, out from Image is a book called Demonic. Really twisted, cool stuff. Um, guy, I want to tell you a whole bunch of this because like some of the reveal is really cool. There's a demon and killing. So if you like dark books, it's a good one. It's a twisty one. Uh, Briggsland, everyone's been waiting for this one. This one's gonna be a hot book. This is Dark Horse. It's about a family who has kind of uh, sequestered themselves as one um, like away from society place. Um, this is the leader of the clan. The, the father has died and she's taken the place. She's got some brothers. Um, so imagine the militia and they're in charge of it. And I, don't, I think there's probably some crazy stuff in there. Probably not everyone is, you know, insane. All right, don't miss. I know that you guys last month probably read the first of the Black Hammer books. Uh, here's number two. Remember, it's a bunch of superheroes that are trapped in a small town. Um, there's no explanation for why they're there, but or why the Black Hammer's not with them. But I have a feeling that they're going to get us into that in this part of the book. Uh, back stagers. Um, I thought this was going to be a really straightforward look at uh, kids that work the backstage of plays, but it turns out there's some cool supernatural stuff going on also. So um, this is a really cute book. This is a boom box, so it should be teenager friendly. Um, IDW, Jack Boot and Iron Heel. This is like supernatural wartime book. So if you like your wartime books and you like yourself trying to figure out, you know, undead things, it's a cool, cool book. I like the first issue very much. All right, let's look at DC. I didn't pull everything this week from DC because there's so much of it, but I wanted to point out some things for you. Um, you've got the first Supergirl Rebirth. Um, really cool start for her. This is the first of this. This is number one for Birds of Prey, tying that girl to uh, Rebirth there, so don't miss it. Cool. Um, and the first of the regular title for um, Red Hood the Outlaws and Suicide Squad. Okay, so those are your number ones for your birth this week. Everything else continues on. You've got a, I think I saw a Superman, Green Lantern. Gosh, there's a bunch of stuff in that pile. So good. You guys are, are cruising along for that stuff. Okay, now as promised, I have read every Civil War tie in this week. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven books. So I can tell you which what's going on in all of them and which are the ones you can't miss. So I'll start with the don't miss them this week. You'll be sad if you do. That one, that one, and these two. Okay. So the four I'm going to tell you don't miss this week. You've got all new Wolverine. Um, you really got to read this one. I'm totally trying not to like ruin everything for you guys. If you want to talk to me in the store tomorrow about what, what's going on in each one specifically and make your mind about them, I'm totally happy with that. Uh, in this Mockingbird, she goes on a cruise and ends up having, she's trying to get away from all the drama uh, um, with Hawkeye and just kind of like take some time away, but uh, trouble fo follows her there. So that one's a really good tie in to the main storyline. The Ultimates, number 10, tie in to Civil War. Super important stuff in this book. Don't miss this one. Um, real big implications for what's going on for Civil War. And you've got X-Men 3. There is a total fight over, uh, obviously, this is here in this book. But there's lots more stuff that's going on in this book. These are the ones that are like the main tie-ins this week. Don't, don't miss those. But there's lots of really good ones. This is uh, Spider-Woman 10. This is a, a really personal confrontation between Spider Woman and Carol Danvers, as you can see on the cover. Uh, that is a really good book, despite the fact it's written by Mr. Hopeless, which is not my favorite, favorite writer. He's actually getting better every time I read him. Uh, the Choosing Size has got three stories in it Punisher, Power Pack, and Fury. 
Uh, the dictionary doesn't have any words in it. It just has shows an event that happens. That one's cool, but the best of the three is the Punisher story. Really good. Uh, Power Man and Iron Fist. We've got someone's in jail. You can tell right here. Um, and someone's going to come break them out. So this is a good tie-in, but not super important. The Amazing Spider-Man may not have been... A didn't really need to have the tie into Civil War on it. It has a really big on a title, but it really doesn't have anything to do with main, what's going on in the main universe. Um, you've got everything is about this cool bad guy right here. It's a really good issue. It just doesn't have a lot to do with Civil War. Um, Sam Wilson, Captain America. This is the beginning. It says Civil War too, but this is more um, tied in with the storyline uh, that they want. You've seen all those titles that say uh, give him back the shield. So this is um, really a lot of controversy. Uh, there's people in power that want to have Sam give up the shield and give it back to Captain America. But it involves the US agent, so. Uh, this one's actually really good. I should put this in the, you probably should pick it up this week category. Uh, the Gods of War 3 has to do a whole bunch with Hercules. Remember he had that print on his arm that um, something else is controlling him, making him crazy. Um, so you've got these three characters that are trying to find a god that can be their god to champion. They thought Hercules was the one. So um, there's a big conversation between Hercules and the original Avengers. And you can hear Captain say, Avengers Assemble, which is awesome. Uh, this is really cool. So this whole book deals with, it's called The Fallen, the one is the Civil War definite tie-in. So this is dealing with a um, uh, fallout from... Um, I'm sure by this time I have to say, you know, you know, spoiler alert, Bruce Banner's dead. Um, Bruce isn't in this, but in any way except for a hologram, he had a holographic will. So this is them gathering everyone together for the funeral and a holographic reading of the will by uh, Bruce himself. So you can actually see him and see what his will's, will is for all of what he has left to give to his um, friends and family. So, all right, really cool stuff this week. Come on in. I'm happy to chat about the things that I wouldn't be able, wouldn't talk about on the video because I don't want to spoil a bunch of stuff for everybody. So I'm glad to talk about it tomorrow in store. Um, get after it. There's good reads this week. Talk to you later.